headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. Even when you consider the kind of numbers we've been throwing around here lately, $75 billion is still a lot of money. And President Obama is hoping it's enough money to save those Americans who are right now threatened with foreclosure. Remember, it was the home mortgage crisis that started this economic mess in the first place. Some of that damage is done and can't be fixed. A lot of people have lost their homes in the process. But the program announced today contains several firsts. Among them, a way to help people who aren't in trouble yet but who are struggling to make their payments right now. We have two reports to start us off tonight, beginning with our chief White House correspondent, Chuck Todd, traveling with the president. The president came to one of America's home foreclosure capitals to unveil his plan to tackle what economists agree is the root cause of the economic slump, housing. In Phoenix and its surrounding suburbs, the American dream is being tested by a home mortgage crisis that not only threatens the stability of our economy, but also the stability of families and neighborhoods. The basic goal of the plan is to help homeowners who owe more than their house is worth, need to refinance, but can't get a new loan. This plan will not save every home, but it will give millions of families resigned to financial ruin a chance to rebuild. Aid will go to two groups of credit-worthy homeowners, Group 1. Four to five million homeowners who have loans held or insured by Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. The two mortgage giants will simply offer eligible borrowers a new lower interest rate. Group two, three to four million homeowners who are struggling with high debt and need a little help. The plan includes $75 billion to create incentives for lenders to modify those at risk loans. The government will pay some of the interest lost by the lenders. While the program is voluntary, any bank that receives bailout money must participate. Another $200 billion will be used to help Freddie and Fannie keep mortgage rates low. The plan I'm announcing focuses on rescuing families who've played by the rules and acted responsibly. Translation, this plan does not help land speculators, folks who used a second mortgage to pull cash out of their house and spend it in other ways, or millionaire homeowners. So will it work? You can say for certain that helping these seven to nine million mortgage holders is going to take a very long time. This is not a quick fix and it's not a general fix. It's a specific mortgage by mortgage, house by house fix. Critics of the plan claim it penalizes taxpayers who have been responsible in paying their mortgages. We're going to be very careful as we move forward and make certain that we don't penalize those that have been playing by the rules and that the ha taxpayer uh, who has been playing by the rules is not left holding uh, a lot of responsibility the money to pay for this program will come from TARP and other housing funds already approved by Congress. The new mortgage guidelines go into effect on March 4th. And one more wrinkle. Some homeowners are going to have to go through mandatory credit counseling in order to receive any benefits. Chuck Todd, NBC News, Mesa, Arizona. Mommy's making hot chocolate. I'm Mike Taibbi in Merrick, New York. Maylin DeLeo has been raising her daughter Victoria on her own yeah. since her husband John died of cancer last spring. But she knows now it might only be months before she faces foreclosure. I hope not, I hope not, I hope not. But could you be? Yes. Her story, a big house she always thought was too much house, but that she and John bought in 2003 when home values were soaring and mortgages, including their interest-only loan, easy to get. You know what? Everybody was giving the money out. Now that loan will reset at a higher rate and require payment toward the principal, too. And the monthly checks he's been writing out of the dwindling savings and business income John left behind will increase by 40%. She can't sell, can't stay, can't sleep through the night. What are you going to be in the streets before you know with my child? This plan will not save every home. The question today, who's most likely to get help under the Obama plan? It helps May Lynn that she's not delinquent yet and her credit remains good. And subsidies for her and or her lender could make refinancing possible and reduce her monthly payments. But when we 